Back on the woodworks here, we're gonna make butternut squash soup. So I love butternut squash and I was kind of looking at um, different vegetables that I love that I can make soups out of. And I wanted to do this because I've been getting some suggestions and comments that you got to make something for the vegans, for the vegetarians, for the gluten free people, for the soy free people, for the etc, etc, etc. That's what I've been trying to do. So over the past month or so, I've been experimenting with the soups. And this one's fantastic. My whole family loved it, I think except Chance, but uh, every, everyone else loved it. <laughs> Even my granddaughter Rose loved it. So I already roasted the butternut squash. The oven was set to 425 and I roasted it for about an hour. So 50, 45 minutes to an hour till it's tender, take it out, let it cool so you can peel off the skin, which I'm gonna do in a second and then work with it. So let me run down the list of ingredients. Two large butternut squash. Uh, they're about, more or less about three pounds. You wanna cut them in half and remove the seeds. Um, olive oil, half of a chopped shallot, two cloves of garlic chopped, one teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I like to use a little more, but that's what this recipe calls for. Uh, salt and pepper to taste, and then four to five cups of vegetable broth, but that's gonna vary once you get everything in the pot and you want everything to be covered, you'll kind of feel it out. So always have a little extra vegetable broth on hand. So that's it, I'm gonna just peel the skin off and um, put these in this bowl and then we'll transfer it. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna take this over to the stove and we're gonna start sauteing the shallots and the garlic and get things going. Okay, so I have some olive oil in the pan. Let's get the shallots in there. I just want these to go for about a minute and then I'm gonna add the garlic. And I don't want the shallots to burn, so I'm gonna add a little vegetable broth now. Just a little easy trick, especially for this, the, the vegetable broth's gonna go in there anyway, so. Okay, gonna let that go for a minute and then I'm gonna add the garlic. Okay, gonna get the garlic in there. And I know some of you might be watching and, and thinking, why does he use such a big pan? For me, it's just easier because if anything splatters around, it gets messy, it's all gonna stay in this pan. So, and especially when I'm using the blender, um, you're not getting hot stuff splatter on you. So that's why I use this pan. And I, I like this pan anyway, so there. You use your pan, I'll use mine. All right, gonna hit this with a little salt and pepper. So these look good. Um, gonna add the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Then I'm gonna add the butternut squash. Then just move this around to get everything kind of with the, the spices and the shallot and the garlic incorporated into the butternut squash. Gonna hit it with some salt and pepper and then add the vegetable broth.
Okay, I got a nice little simmer going here. Um, I'm gonna hit it with the immersion blender. Get it all incorporated and then give it a taste. Here we go. Okay, gonna give it a taste. Okay. Definitely need some salt. I didn't really add a lot of salt. I just had the, the butternut squash had salt on it. That's about it. It has great consistency. Get another spoon. Yes, that's it. Just need a little more salt. And that's it, it's done. Butternut squash soup. Gonna put it in a bowl and give it a taste. Be right back. Okay, so I got my butternut squash soup here. Um, just gonna give it a taste. Mmm. The butternut squash is so creamy and delicious. Mmm. Can taste the, the cinnamon and the nutmeg a little bit. Shallots, the garlic. Mmm. So good. I'm a big fan of soups. They're easy to make healthy. Um, they can be kind of filling. So I like to have a soup and then maybe like a piece of fish or, you know, some piece of chicken, grilled chicken with it, you know, and that's, to me, that's a good meal. So I'm a big fan of soups. This is fantastic. It has amazing, butternut squash flavor, but it's more savory than like sweet. Cause I know I had the, the cinnamon and the nutmeg, but it's just, that just um, adds to the flavor of the, the squash. So it's awesome. Try it at home. Making these soups is another way to get your kids into, you know, vegetables. So give it a shot. I love it and I hope you do too. Until next time. Check one, two, check one, two, oh, butternut squash soup. Mm.